I'm Richard Erb, and uh, I'm very fortunate to have with me today Dan Cara. Dan's a founder of Robo Business and the past president and founder of Robotics Trends. Robo Business will be bringing back our physical event, and uh, we're, we're thrilled to have the event in Boston. Uh, the turnout is great. We're thrilled to have you as our conference chairman and, and thought leader driving the program. Thanks, Rich. I appreciate that. Tell us a little bit about Robo Businesses. Well, I decided to create an event where I would bring all of these people together. So the business professionals in the robotics industry, the investment professionals, uh, folks from the military and the government, people from academia, uh, people who from Global 2000 businesses who didn't have robotics products or maybe are thinking of moving into new marketplaces or robotizing their existing product sets. Bring them together in one uh, common event focus both on technology and on, and on businesses, bring those, those things together, and run it for two or three days, kind of put them all in a big box, shake it up, and see what would happen. It's an event designed for people to create uh, new businesses and robotize existing business lines uh, using robotics technology. Where are we going? What are people going to learn in Boston? Why should they be excited to be there? Now we're in the third wave, I think, of robotics. So we've gone from industrial to, to new types of uh, mobile robotics, intelligent robotics work uh, in, in the marketplace, and they've proven themselves. So now we're like, what, what comes next? And I'm looking at the, uh, at the program, and I see everything from intellectual property to investment to forming partnerships, alliances, technology innovation, CEO roundtables. What am I going to gain as an attendee? If you look at robotics and what maybe differentiates it from other types of, of areas, say the software industry, for example, it's much more complex than that. But robotics has its own set of issues, uh, for example, in terms of breaking into the next marketplace or securing investment in a marketplace that many investors still don't understand that well, even with the successes we've seen over the last uh, eight years or so. So again, it's, it's, in, in some ways, it's, it's just another turn on a business opportunity with maybe more t technical complexity, but in other ways, there's issues that are specific to the robotics industry. It's a, a very, very different type of industry and different type of markets and different type of businesses. And it requires bringing in people from a, a, with a variety of backgrounds into one area and have them sort of interoperate with, e with each other and network with each other in a way that everybody can benefit. Benefit. I see some amazing speakers coming into the program. Are there any particular sessions or speakers or just kind of give me a feeling for the level of, of, of dynamic speakers and leaders that we're bringing to Boston? Aldo Zini or Colin Engel from iRobot. These are pure business people. Dude, they're solving real problems, creating real businesses that are making real money. That's the first thing. So if you look at it uh, in overall, you have leaders in, in government coming here to talk about how to get invested in what the government is looking for, uh, the military in particular, but other areas as well, in terms of, of defense robotics, or search and rescue robotics. You have proven uh, robotic startups that are legitimate companies making real business and, make, and changing the, world, the, the way the world operates. Uh, you have existing major companies, John Deere is a good example of that, who are now focusing on robotics and looking at it as the next generation or the next way to uh, spin off new product lines or make their own systems more robust and, and workable and productive. In addition to that, which that wasn't mentioned, is a number of other smaller companies that are the next generation of, of iRobot or the next generation of iPhone or the next generation of John Deere that are going to be there and you're going to be able to meet these people both as speakers and then certainly, I would say equally important, or maybe even more important, these people are also going to be at the audience and, and they will be in the networking receptions and they'll be getting coffee next to you and you can go have a drink with them after, after the show. So again, it's a great place to get a very, very quick core dump on where this industry is at this time and where it's going to be going in the future, both from a business side and a technical side. I'm very excited again about Robo Business in Boston on November 2nd and 3rd. Um, sign up, register, be part of the discussion, be part of the, uh, the community in Boston. And, and again, thank you, Dan. We're really looking forward to bringing our, our physical show back and bringing the community together. Glad to be here and very excited to do it. Thank you. Thank you.